Welcome to YoungHollywood.com. All right, Young Hollywood, we got Jason, Karen, Paul, new show, R.J. Burger, right here, R.J. Burger. Gotta tell you, it's a pretty good name over there. You know what, there's something in the name that has a certain amount of, you know, influence and power that, I agree. you know, we're progressing on MTV. It's MTV's first step in a new direction. It's an all-scripted, original comedy about, you know, sort of like a loner 15-year-old kid who happens to be extremely well-endowed. My name is R.J. Berger. Nature made me scrawny and weird looking. Awkward and pale. It's official. I'm God's urinal cake. Nature did a lot of things. You think you could disrespect me, huh? But it also gave me a gift. Say, you're real. You have something that every guy in school would kill for. And I intend to use it. It's all about how this new talent, uh, when it's exposed in the first episode, sort of gives him the courage to find himself, you know, maybe go for the girl of his dreams and figure out who he is in this crazy world. So, RJ, you're right, very powerful man. Now you're going to make it even more powerful, I think, right? <laughs> I, I will do my best. I mean, I, I'm trying to compete with something that's been put ahead of me, you know, and... You got your work cut out for you. I, I'm, I'm aware. All right, so he says lonely fit. 15 year old. Is he really a lonely 15 year old? Um, well, I try to make him as not lonely as And how do you do that? Um, well, I play Lily. She's sort of the girl that's been in love with him before she knew how well endowed she what he was. Wow. Are you in love with her? He doesn't know he is. Tell us the truth. Is he in He's in love with my girlfriend. Whoa! So that creates a big rift between him and I. And there's more often than not, I will be beating the out of him on the show. But we're good friends out. Like, he's my roommate. It's all love. In real life? Yeah. How's it working with these two cast of characters over here? Yeah. Come on, I know they're funny stories on the set. You gotta no, spill something. No, no, no. They, What's the craziest thing that happened? The oh my goodness. The and the ecstasy. That is top secret. We did not discuss the bottom line is on this show, you will see everything that people's parents tell them they shouldn't do and shouldn't think and shouldn't be. We will be expressing that and living that and everything from masturbation to sex and all the wow. good stuff. Woo! MTV is pushing the envelope here, aren't yeah, they? Baby. Dude, it's MTV. You know, parents are going to be pissed, but kids are going to be really damn happy. Yeah. All right, well, let's talk about the producer now, David Katzenberg. I mean, that's Hollywood royalty. Yeah. What's it like here? He's the most humble, normal guy. And, uh, you would never know, you know, what he's coming from because he's genuinely trying to, you know, show his own creativity and uh, expand on everything that he was clearly brought up upon, you know, with his father and whatnot. Any Nikki Hilton sightings on set with David? Huh? Yeah. Mr. and Mrs. Katzenberg and Miss Hilton, uh, they all came on set and had lunch with us. And how was that? They're adorable. You know we love introducing you to people first. Amber, it's a face you might not know right now, but guaranteed very, very soon you will. Is that a lot of pressure? Um, not a lot of, not a lot of pressure, I mean, unless you put it like that. Amber, come on. I know, it's really exciting. I'm, re I'm really excited. It's like the first like big thing I've done. It's the first big thing that MTV's done in a really long time. Any fun Paul stories? Oh my god, Paul is the greatest. I love him. Like, his character is amazing. I mean, I think there's a lot of people that can really relate to him. Like, if you're like the dorky kid in school or the or the kid that like doesn't feel like he really fits in, which most people feel like that, whether you do or not, um, you'll definitely relate to Paul and his character and the way that he brings it to life is amazing. And now Maxim Hot 100, Amber just made the list. I did. So what's that like? It's, it's an honor. I was like, wow, I, I didn't know that I was cool enough to be on anybody's uh, Hot 100 list. Well, what number did you actually make on the list? I'm number 91. Pretty good, though. Could have been 99. I mean, I'm not complaining. Hey, I'm Amber Lancaster, and you're watching YoungHollywood.com.